Hey guys, it's me, Better Gaming World, and welcome to another game. Welcome to a gameplay that I'm gonna play, and it's gonna be Clock Tower, the PC version. So the PC version was released in 1997. Um, this is one of the the first entry of the Clock Tower series. If you don't know about it, just look it up online. It's gonna be because I don't really don't want to explain. It's too much. So anyway, this game was actually released on the Super Famicom only in Japan. It was it never had an international release. Nothing. It was only released in Japan. So the only thing you will find of this game are the translated version, and I'm playing a translated patch on the PC version. I mean, that's like also the PS One and the NES anyway. So yeah. So this game was released on the Super Famicom, the PS1, which I did a gameplay of it without commentary because it didn't have a microphone. So if you want to see the PS1, instead of listening to my annoying voice, you can go to my playlist and watch that. So anyway, uh, let's start the game. And I'll explain to you about the story. So here we go. Jennifer and her friends were raised in the Granite Orphanage. Suddenly, they were to become adopted daughters sometime in September. Laura, hurry up! At this way, it will be dark before we reach the mansion. Uh, Miss Mary? Yes? What kind of place are we going to be living in? Huh, that's the fifth time you ask. Don't worry, it's a lovely mansion. You see it? You'll see in a moment. Look! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. So that's the mansion. The clock tower. You know, don't, it's kind of creepy to have a mansion in the middle of the forest. It's, for me, it's kind of creepy. I mean, I mean, I like nature, but it is kind of creepy. I mean, anyway, anyway, here we go. We just start the game. So, this is a massive house. It really is. It's so huge and this is only the foyer. As your teacher, I had to greet the tea, the owner. Everyone, stay put. Bye, Miss Mary. Um, okay, as you can see, um, this is a survival core. It's a clicking point, as you can see. Maybe you might not see the mouse, but if I move that, adds like if you see the square, that's the pointer. It's just that in, in this recorder catcher doesn't record the mouse, which I think is good. I think. So this is about four girls who gets adopt who gets adopted by a guy, Mister Mister Barrels. Uh, there's a part of the game where we meet him, but I'm trying to get the ending to the uh, ending with Anne. This is Anne over here. The other is Laura, and the one with the red was Lottie. So I'm trying to get the ending with Anne, and is it, it, this ending? The, the ending is known to be the hardest ending to get. There's like multiple endings, but the one who's really really hard is the one with Anne. So I'm gonna try if I can get it because, hey. Anyway, so anyway, um, they were adopted as these girls were adopted as adopted daughters, and a lot of strange things happen in this really really good. I mean, this is a good game. Like, I mean, it's old, 
really old, but it's a really good game. It, it still lives up until this day. But if you are a person who really don't like slow gameplay, then this game is not for you. I mean, Jennifer. I mean, let me show you the gameplay. Okay, if you click here in this direction, Jennifer can walk. She also can run, but the problem is that if she run, her health will be depleted. And also, if I click the stairs, Jennifer walks so slow in the stairs that I'm not even joking. So, let's go talk to the others. So here we have Annie, which we're gonna try to get the ending saving her. So we're gonna talk to her first. Hey Annie, you're wondering what kind of man Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Okay, here we have Laura, the blonde. Somehow. Huh? This house. It's so big, it makes me uneasy. Well, it also makes me uneasy too, Laura. And this one is Lottie. So Lottie, when I first played this game, Lottie, I thought Lottie was a boy, but actually she is a girl, she's a tomboy. Oh, I don't like, I don't think I'm going to like it here. Huh? Lottie, don't be such a scary cat. Sc cat, sorry. So yeah, I thought Lottie was a boy at first, but actually she's a girl, she's a tomboy, she's a tomboy, and sadly, we cannot save her, and all she dies, we cannot save her, there's no Andy wear her, which is really sad, because she's the only friend, according to the manual and the story, she's the only friend of Jennifer, I mean, this, this like, Anne and Laura are only acquaintance. Lo like Lottie is his only best friend. So anyway, um, let's have to dim again because we have to speak them twice. Miss Mary, sure is taking her time. Should I take a look for her? Should I take a look for her? Don't worry, I'll go. So we have to talk to them twice so we can proceed with the gameplay. So. I wonder, what happened to Miss Mary? And then we got to talk to Laura, and then we can go to the progress of the game. Hey, why did you try to find out our teacher? Why did you find our teacher? Ugh. So now we can go out of here, we can like walk out of here. See what I mean about slow gameplay? <laughs> oh god. Ah! That came from the main foyer. Uh oh, something happened. Creepy. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, the lights are off. Come on, everyone. Stop fooling around. So right now we're gonna go to, what you're gonna do is go to this door. And you're gonna, uh, let me show you how she runs. If she runs, she, now, now she's running, but if she keep running like that, her health goes low. So you have to be cautious and when you wanna run. But you know what, I'm gonna run all the way because um, I wouldn't want to finish this gameplay really fast, but I also want to show you how to beat the game to get the ending with Annie if I can get it. So we go into this room, and as you can see, uh, we're in this thing. The power is off. I wonder, the light switch is. Oh my god, that just scared me a little bit. So even though this game is really old, it can really can get you a little bit scared, not to like, oh my god, jump scared, but it can really get you really scared. I mean, just now, that TV just turned on, and I heard that in your, if you, and just got, 
it just freaked me out in the sound. I mean, this game is so good. It's really sad that the sequels did not. I mean, some of the sequels are not that great. Believe me, I seen. I even did the gameplay of Cloud Tower on the PS One, the three D one, and oh my god, it was not good as this one. So anyway, we're gonna check this box. And we're gonna find a key! <laughs> okay, pocket the West Wing key. So, anyway, so we just got the key, and since they had nothing to do here, we're gonna go to this door. Now we're in this room, and as you can see there, we there's a parrot in the cage, and there's a mirror. But it, let's click this because I gotta show you something very amazing. Look at this, a picture, but someone or something. Ooh, creepy music. So click this drawer. If you click this, you're gonna find a small bottle of perfume. Hmm. It smells, it's the same kind of Miss Mary wears. Ooh. Got a bottle of perfume. So we got a bottle of perfume. And you might see it. it here it is. If, uh, let me click it. That's the bottle of perfume if you see there. So there, you, you're going to use that later. So keeping like this in your mind at the end of the game. So anyway. Also, whatever you do, do not click this mirror, and I'm gonna show you why. So let me see. Okay, but do not click it twice because you click twice, this, this will happen. It will break, but this one, but I mean, it, the window will break, but this are there's time. There's gonna be a time where a hand is gonna grab you from the mirror. It's gonna try to choke you, and you have to press the panic button to release yourself from it. So for now, the only thing that came out was the broken window. So anyway. We're gonna go to talk to this parrot, which is gonna be interesting. Oh. So, mm. a parrot. If you don't understand what he's saying. He's saying I'll kill you, not I see you. At first, when I played this game, I thought I I thought he said I see you, but actually it's I'll kill you. So that's freaky as fuck. But too bad the sound quality is not that good, and I can really understand what he's saying barely. Anyway, you just just click that and you cover it up, and he will stop talking. So anyway, we have to get out of this room. And this is gonna be the part we're gonna we're gonna meet our main bad guy or monster, whatever you wanna call it. So anyway, we're gonna walk over here. As you can see, because I ran, uh, my health started to deplete. Ugh. Okay. Stop right there. Oh my god. I, it's coming from the, that bathroom over there. So we're gonna open this door. If you want, if you if you're planning to get the Andy with Annie, so you have to go to this door. So as you can see, it's really foggy. Wow, that's the graphics of old computer games. Wow, that's really amazing. So anyway, we're gonna click this sheet, this curtain, shower curtain, and then here he's gonna appear. Oh my God! And who are we gonna find in the curtains? Laura! Uh, uh. Laura? Laura? And there he's gonna come out. Uh oh. So that people is Scissor Man, one of the, the main villains of this people. So the only thing you need to do about this game is run. You can't you can't like you cannot fight him back. You don't have no weapons. 
nothing. You had to run. I mean, you can fight back, but only when when there's a pan when you're in panic. So anyway, we, the only thing you have to do is run, run for your life. Just run, run for your life. Go over here, like go to this side because he's right behind you. Like seriously, not joking. Just run, run and run and run. Keep running until you get a hiding spot. So okay, now we're in the main hall, and the only thing you have to do is okay, run over here. Start right here. Click the stairs. You're gonna click the stairs, and this is what I was talking about. The that's what I'm talking about. Jennifer walks so slow in the stairs, even though somebody's trying to kill her. Like seriously, Jennifer, you walking too slow. Someone's trying to kill you, and the only thing you can do is walk through the stairs, not run through the stairs. And I'm, that's why I'm telling you people that there's gonna be parts where she's gonna really gonna be so slow. So if you really have patience to play this game, then this game is for you. But if you're not a person who's not patient, then this game is not for you. So, oh god. Uh, I'll come right back. Uh, give me a second. I need to come right back. So, give me a second. That was I'm back and sorry about earlier, just that someone was knocking the door. So anyway, what we're gonna do is go to this door. And you're gonna go through here. And then you're gonna really go here, click that. And then you're gonna have to press the panic button. Like seriously. Now I touch like you have to really hit it really hard so she can really go through because if you if you don't, she can get killed and it's dead it's game over. So right now, he's gonna come out right there here. There he is, waiting for her. I mean he I mean Bobby, that's the name of the monster, his name is Bobby, and he's kinda stupid. Well not always stupid, but mostly stupid because She's right behind there. Why he never he didn't thought of that? But you know what? This is uh, I don't care anymore. You know, never mind. I mean, anyway, anyway, he's gonna leave. Bye. So um, as you can see, now we're safe, and she's really, really red. So this is is gonna be the end of part one of this gameplay. So meet me back on part two. So see ya.